Oh my gosh. No, this is for educational purposes only. I'm going to start talking nonsense. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, I'm not going to. What did I just say? <laughs> okay, so now you have it centered. Do you mind if I tape you? Your hands? That would be fine. Okay, thanks. So I'll probably look at this again when I'm making a face. Okay, put your fingers inside and drag them towards you. Go in and clean up that bottom. Now sometimes when you have a lot of clay, you can do a first pull with your hands. You kind of choke it and squeeze and bring up. And that will just bring up some of that clay a little bit, so then it's ready to go. So now you're going to do that first pull. And if you're having trouble with it going outward, try and pull to the left. So you end up, instead of it being a cylinder, you want it to even go more like a teepee. Undercut it. That'll give your fingers a place to start. Wait till they're lined up with each other, and then you start to just pull together. And you're, you want your hands to be moving in proportion to how fast the wheel is going. If the wheel's going fast, you want your hands to be going fast. And try and just imagine that you're touching each particle of clay as the wheel goes on around. That's my new phone. I have no idea what that is. It's either the phone or the text. I can't use it. And when they get tall, you can't anchor your hands against each other, so you just do a pull as straight as you can, and as soon as you can anchor, anchor it, you do. It, it's probably mostly in the speed that you're pulling. Your hands are either going too fast or too slow or not going at the same. You want to try and just be as steady as possible. Okay, now you divide it just by eye into about thirds. And this first third, you're going to push out like a bowl. So you start pushing gradually. Your inside hand is what's doing the pushing and the outside hand is really just along for the ride. It's just doing a little, it's there for stability. Okay, so that's my first third, and I'm pushing it out just like I did a bowl. Now that second third, I want to round it up. Imagine you're making a ball on the inside, and so you want to be pushing out, but you're also pushing up. And if your hands are sticking a little bit, you can use a sponge. If you don't want those grooves in there, you can use a rib for your, your right hand and just smooth over the outside edge. So I do the first two thirds. I shape that first and get it about where I think I want it. And then that last third you're going to choke it in and bring it up. So you put your fingers around it just like you're going to choke someone. Put it right around the neck, and you're going to squeeze and lift. And then you might want to do a little bit of a pull because that always thickens it up.
and then you want to flare this top edge back out again. So what you do is you're going to push in with that outside hand and just roll this top edge over. And that's going to flare it out. Try not to work on that very, very edge because you don't want that to get so thin that it's ragged. Wherever you're squeezing, that's going to make the clay be thinner. So if you cannot work on that very outside edge, you're going to get a little bit better um, lip on it. It'll look a little bit more finished if it's not so thin. And sometimes after you do the, the neck and the lip, you might need to go back down and revisit the rest and shape it up so it looks good with what you did on the top. And then I'll show you that trimming trick again that you could do some trimming right on the wheel. Get these tools wet and hold them just like a pencil. And you start riding right on the surface of the clay. And you're going to start pushing that point into the clay just a tiny bit. And push down toward the wheel head. It'll save you some time later if you won't have to trim. Don't, don't cut away too much, though, because if you cut away too much, then you lose that support and it can fall. So you don't want to be trimming it really, really little if you didn't start out with a little space. I can't remember if I showed you guys this. If you have trouble getting your piece off the wheel, if you put a little bit of water on the wheel and then draw your wire underneath it, it will scoot on that little river of water and you can get it off maybe a little bit easy. Nice.